So I know I'm a little bit late to the party here, guys, but I thought I would cover the Nostalrius server shutdown. And I know like a million other WoW YouTube fanboys have already covered this topic, but I figured, you know, I might as well cover it anyway, because fuck it, why not? I'm just going to make this video pretty short, probably around seven minutes, and uh, just address a few points here. The first being that, yes, everybody's already said it a million times. Blizzard owns the, the rights to the game, uh, has a, it's, it's, it's Blizzard's game, you know, it's Blizzard's game, that's that's just the reality of the situation. Uh, I think Nostalrius was a place for a lot of players to go and hang out that did not like the live version of the game and how the live version of the game is going and really who could blame them, you know, like who, really who could blame them. Take a look at my uh, 20 Reasons Why World of Warcraft Now Sucks video if you uh, want to know a little bit more about my feelings on the live version of World of Warcraft right now. So, because the live version of World of Warcraft, currently this is Warlords of Draenor, if you're watching this in the future, it might be Legion. But because the current version of the game right now isn't very good, uh, it's obvious that a lot of players, you know, they want to relive their old experiences, or they just want to go back to a time when the game was actually competitive, fun to play, when the world was alive, when, you know, like, progression was actually a real thing, and, and, it, and the entire atmosphere of the game mattered, the entire experience of the game mattered not just you know smashing a bunch of a bunch of buttons to level cap and getting instantly you know rewarded for pretty pretty much every single thing you do in the live version of wow and getting burnt out within like the first few months of playing and there's also the fact that in the current version of wow you know you can pretty much buy a level capped character with real money you can buy gold with real money and you know, it's just a lot of people want to relive those old experiences, and it's it's sad that Blizzard came in and kind of were, was like, you know, fuck, fuck you, we're shutting this down. And I, like I said, I understand why they would do that because they have to protect their copyright, and that's already been stated like a million times by like a million other YouTubers. But uh, I think there's a real demand for legacy f servers coming up here in the future, and I think that because Nostalrius, I don't know if some of you guys know this, but Nostalrius had. I think it was like over a hundred thousand registered accounts. I was, I think, I think it was like a million registered accounts, but like a hundred thousand plus players um, that were actively playing the game. And I know a lot of people just look at like the, the players that are playing like specifically in certain times, and they would they they'd all open up their who list or whatever, and then they would search the players, and it would be like uh, I'm not too sure sp specifically on the numbers, but it was probably like ten thousand to fifteen thousand people playing at one time. But in reality, there was like a hundred thousand people that actively played on on these servers and you have to understand from an mmorpg standpoint 100,000 players 150,000 players that's more than most mmos have to this day so you know take a look at 100 like 150,000 players that's like more than guild wars 2 that's like around actually probably around the same as guild wars 2 i don't know the specific numbers on every single mmo off the top of my head but 100,000 to 150,000 players that's more than you know most mmorpgs on the market that are currently you know alive right now as we speak so i think it's just uh it's interesting that so many people want to go back and play old world of warcraft and you know a lot of people are going to say well that's because the game was was there's no subscription fee to play on these private servers and and that's not you know that's not why people are going back and playing a game a 10 year old video game because there's no subscription fee they're going back because that's what they want to play and i would bet that most of those players would play with or without the subscription fee regardless they just want to go back to a time when wow was a fun game and had you know, you know it, it had like i said before actual progression so i think going forward there is going to be legacy servers i think blizzard is going to do this at some point uh, i think nostalrius has proved that there's a huge demand for that and i think we will see legacy servers in the future at some point i think within a year within two years maybe even sooner i think it, it's really going to depend on how well world of warcraft legion does and i think after they see the legion numbers and you know the, re the retention rates and all that they're probably going to go back and be like well you know like a lot of people want to play on old vanilla world of warcraft so they'll probably go back and restart those servers and, and and create legacy servers and i know a lot of people are going to say no blizzard has already said no to that and it's not going to happen well fuck that because it's going to happen because blizzard has said no to a lot of things blizzard said no we will never have Pay to win level capped characters you'll never be able to buy gold with real money blizzard has said 
that uh, they'll never do PVE to PVP server transfers. Blizzard said all of these things, and the reality of the situation is they went back on all everything they said and did it anyway because wherever the profit the profits are going to be is where they're going to go as a company. So I'll I'll end the video here just by saying that uh, you know I feel bad for a lot of those players that dedicated a lot of time to those their characters on Astarius just to have that server shut down. I personally I never played on that server. Um, the reason I never wanted to and like I never dedicated a lot of time is because I, I knew how big the server was and regardless of where the server is located Blizzard can shut it down for the most part if they really want to and I, I really don't want to dedicate you know hours upon hours upon hours into a character and then just to find out oh the server is going to be shut down in like a week or two like that's why I don't I don't really play on the private servers uh, because as much as I love the community and as, as much as I love that overall experience I really don't want to just throw all that time away into one character and just have the server shut down because Blizzard, Blizzard is like, oh, it's it's illegal, which it is illegal, and they have every right to do so in closing the server down. But I do think Nostalrius is definitely going to be an example of, you know, the demand for private servers. Um, I'm going to put a link here in the in the video. So if you click this link and if you can just please sign this petition for legacy servers, uh, it's the Nostalrius petition i don't know if the petition is really going to do anything i'm not stupid enough to believe that it is but uh, i think it'll just show that there is a huge demand for these legacy servers in the future so thank thanks guys um comment rate subscribe and i'll see you guys in the future